for a swipe as a solo. This is a challenge of its own, but for some reason whenever I play solo doing for swipe I do absolutely insane. So without further ado let's get into it. Okay, let's do this. So today is four swipe and as you guys can see then I am once again playing solo. Not too long ago I played on a server on four swipe that had no tech tree. So yeah, today I am once again playing on blue lagoon. And every single four swipe on this server the tech tree will be disabled. So with that being said the only way I can get stuff is by finding it like the good old days and uh, i'm not able to tech tree anything so yeah i am very excited for this wipe i do enjoy playing solo a lot but yeah hopefully this wipe is gonna go absolutely insane i did get not the worst spawn that i could have gotten as i want to build somewhere next to airfield and sewer oh that's huge yeah the ice pick and a hatchet that is like the most perfect start ever wow okay i'm not gonna waste too much time as i need to get to this spot like very quick i'm sure i could have possibly gotten a spawn like all the way at the bottom and i didn't i got a bow oh i actually got him I'm not too sure what that guy's doing. There's a guy there as well. No way, I hit him twice. Oh man, that guy is so low. Can I get a spawn at the bottom? I did. I kind of take this spawn if I can just get some cloth and get a quick bow again. Imagine I get a crossbow from this. Okay, well that's not bad. Okay. Damn. Oh, let's go. I do need a bit of a flat spot, so I might build over here. The base I'm gonna make does require just a, a bit of a flat spot, so... We got a base that is huge. Okay. Okay, this is zip line going straight down as well. Okay, I do have enough for uh, tier one now as well. Okay. Ooh. Wow. That's a lot. He found everything I didn't find. Plus, I think it respawned again. Ooh. Let's go. Let's do it. 150 scrap right off the bat. Ooh. Okay. Search it up, that is actually huge. Okay, nice. Make some low grade, put down probably a few furnaces, and then I might go get some quick notes.
perfect. Guy there farming notes. It's two. This guy probably got a lot of shit on him as well. Oh yeah, wow. Okay, well I guess that guy did not know where he was gonna get getting shot from. Wow! Nah, dude. Did I just get shot at? He definitely just loaded the bow. No. Got no arrows. Go, 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 go! God damn. I think I am gonna go recycle again actually because I just realized I have a lot more components. Wow, 1.5k metal and 200 scrap. So I got about, maybe about 400 scrap now actually. Okay. Oh yeah, almost 500 scrap already. From just a few recycle runs. With a few very important recycle runs done, I made my way back towards fishing village. Oh, he's definitely like... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh! Oh my... He didn't die though. Imagine. No way. That's it? Oh wow. No way. A lot more wood and also uh, some extra bows, which is always nice to have. Down him. Oh wow. That's a lot of components. And a med. Okay, and a pickaxe as well. Huge. 150 scrap. Okay. Ooh. Nothing crazy, I gotta get out of here. I'm telling you this nail gun is like always coming in clutch. Okay, this is some very nice and uh, important BPs, so I'm glad I got them so fast. No way. He actually got the headshot. OK, 
Okay, I'm definitely gonna run this home. Get some bandages and come back. Oh, no way. A lot of, uh, a lot of gear though. At least now I got a green card and it doesn't seem like anyone have done sewer yet. So I think that is what I'm gonna go do next thing. Okay, might just take this way out. Okay, they definitely know I'm down here. Okay, dude. That was just two random bow guys. It was actually just two random bow guys, but everyone else left. And of course, the second I go up, these guys are just ready over there. Not exactly the outcome I was expecting, but as we all know, you die, you have to go back at least once more. God. Need to make some more nails. Dude, if tech tree was available right now, or if I could make... Ah, uh, there's, there's not much I can do here. Did he just open the main door? Nine hundred scrap, dude. Oh my god. What a bait. What a fucking bait. He thought I had access to TC and I bet his mate was like debating if he closed the main door or not. I bet that is what they talked about. 100% is what they talked about. Holy, let me get back with this, please. There's absolutely no way those guys had at tier 2, I'm pretty sure. And they had 900 scrap extra. That was insane. Let's go. 900 scrap just like that. What am I... What am I gonna do though? Like, I need a workbench. I can easily craft one now. But I still... I need to start getting something BP. Like, I need guns. I need to... To get the red card. So after that encounter with one of my neighbors, I had plenty of scrap for a workbench and even for BPs. But the fact that I was getting door cam by those exact guys didn't help the fact that my base wasn't expanded. So before focusing BPs, I decided to focus my base first. The designs I usually go with is something I've 100% made up myself, which means it usually sucks. But for this special wipe, I wanted something defendable and something that would stand out. So I made a crazy 2x2 design made by Crow. 
know. I would have loved to make something that only I know how to build. But if you watch my videos, you know I'm not much of a base builder, even though I do try my best. With the base expanded a bit, it was time to put down the tier 2 workbench. And he definitely saw me. No way. I don't know if that guy bled out. No, he didn't. That's all them as well, yeah, Snoop. Damn, these guys over here on this side of the map, they are wood farmers. No way they have M9s. Who would have thought he would have an M9? Nah, dude. Okay, M9 is not a BP, but I would gladly take it. Oh my god, get headshot 10 million times. He's loaded as well. Wow. I'm getting a lot back to base, but I'm not getting... Like, I'm not getting that Revo that I want. Oh wow, those guys have expanded a lot. He is still running. Oh, let's go. He might be stacked. Oh yeah. He did, in fact, have a lot. 200 metal, 100 scrap. Double melee crate. Okay, a battery is not bad. DB is not bad at all. That's actually like huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Absolutely nothing. Damn, I take the shots though. Damn, I am so loaded right now. Like, it's actually insane. I have so much in my base. But I just... I need to do something to get a gun. Like, it's, it's about time I, I try and get my hands in all the key cards. And hopefully by doing that, I get a gun. Maybe a ghost doll. Wow. 1.1k scrap. And a lot of insane components. I'm lucky goes straight to me. No way! Do you want to scrap? Dude. Okay, I think it's time I get some more stone and then expand the base a bit more as well. 
Because I'm starting to uh, get a bit scared of some of the guys on the server. I do know someone took down Heli. And to do that, they need tier 2 guns. And also, they most likely got Rocket and uh, C4 out of it. So After a ton of well-needed loot during prim fights, I decided to research my second line of BPs. But this one had a double barrel shotgun. I didn't know it at the time, but this may just be the one thing I needed to get out of prim stage. That's a saw. Double saw. Oh, they actually just dipped on a snowmobile. My turn. If there was scrap in here. And I could beef you this Revo? Oh my god, I would be the happiest guy ever. Imagine actually get out of here. No! <sighs> oh, that dude. Oh my god. Wow. Can't believe I stayed alive for that long. I may not have profited anything, but the amount of information I got on how deep they are and how their wipe was going so far was all worth using the double barrel for. At this point, I was happy with any type of gun, but after respawning, I made my way towards airfields, and what I managed to do made the wait so worth it. I'm going for that. Let me get home with this man. Like I was hoping for, for anything. Like a tier 1 gun, a Revo. I would have gladly taken that. But dude, getting a SAR, that is actually huge. My first gun of the wipe. And well, to my surprise, it's not a Revo, but a semi-rifle. I did not expect this at all. So getting back to base, I instantly took the BP. And because my brain didn't work, I took another SAR BP instead of rifle ammo. Oh my god. What am I doing? But since it was a no tech tree wipe, I knew players would pay an insane amount to get their hands on a SAR. So I was planning on making a shop sooner or later. Okay, now there's one more somewhere. I got one Revo. That is what happens. I knew he was door camping. Like I actually just had a feeling he was out there.
Okay. I was thinking a bit about what to sell the uh, BP itself for, and I don't know. Like I, I could do it for for satchel. Okay, that is the left side of Sue. I kind of want to check that out. Oh wait, dude. so many guns over there there is so many guns but the team is even deeper this was no easy fight to win and by the looks of it their base was really close as they had people running back instantly i decided to go back with just a revo but as soon as i left base i died by snoop who was also a part of a deeper team i deeped on at the start of wipe i still had a lot of scrap left so with the remaining scrap, I took bed, shotgun trap, large battery and parachute BP. After that, I did some much needed expanding to my base. And even though this base didn't take an insane amount of resources to build, I still had to put any goals aside for a moment to focus a bit on farming. And two hours later, my base was nearly done. Only thing I really needed to finish it off was some windows on the shooting floor. So I decided that I wanted to run oil rig. But first, I had to get my hands on a red keycard, so I made my way towards airfield. Oh wow, you're kidding me. Well, I sold my uh, my sub EP for that, but all good. Oh my god. Oh wow, blue card, green card. Give me a AK please. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna fucking activate it. Oh, no way. That's so big. There's actually a boat coming. Okay, he had no HP. A Tommy, okay. MP5 is actually like such an OP gun after the update. Oh, a hold aside as well? Wow. Airdrop landed. Wow, okay. That's good. I don't actually need the DPs. Mm, 
okay. It's not too bad. Ooh, let's go. Let's fucking go. That's so big. I did help with guns though. I got a lot of uh, extra guns from that. Okay, not a bad day one, not gonna lie, that was uh, that was a good end to run, oil rig run. Before heading off, I did one last recycle run and put down the windows I needed to completely finalize my base. After that, I headed off. In a way at least, I did go to bed, but there was no fucking way I would get off blind after such an insane day one. So I did in fact sleep with my headset close to me. Luckily, nothing woke me up that night, meaning my base wasn't off blind. And that I was ready for yet another day. Okay, it is second day of wipe and I am not raided. Actually very happy that I have not gotten raided overnight because I did pretty good yesterday. I managed to get a lot of extra guns and uh, not only did I get a bunch of shit, but I also managed to do oil rig run that gave me C4. So I now have C4 and explosive BP and can do some insane raids today. Is my shop still? Okay, everything sold but the custom. Damn, nice. Wanna check my neighbor down here. Okay, he definitely expanded as well. Oh, a chainsaw, that's pretty good. That guy had a gun, I think. No way he actually had a saw. Okay, I got a few guys camping me, so I'm probably just gonna buy a very fucking quick boat. That is what happens. Nice one, bro. You almost had it. Ooh, okay. Let's go, dude. That's pretty good. Three stars. With a tier 3 workbench down, I decided to craft up a few C4 so I could raid a nearby shop selling a lot of very useful stuff. Let's go do this. They're definitely gonna push out though the second I do this, but... Go, go, go! Double red card as well. I got four, four stars out of that. A Tommy and a tier 2. And 12 explosive ammo. Actually, I didn't even notice that. That is such a huge BP. That was definitely worth the 2C4s. Oh my god. No, that's literally them. down with me wow they actually just start like, camping me now dude the camping goes fucking hard wow okay well 
My neighbors had gotten quite the numbers online. I only lost the LR and SR during this encounter, so even though it did suck, I didn't think much of it, and decided that it was time to restock my shop with even better loot than before, and in hopes that it would all sell out, but also to attract my neighbors' attention. If they needed anything from my shop, they were definitely gonna try and raid it. But after setting up the shop, I noticed that my neighbors down the hill had gotten a heli, and since I would love one of those, I made my way down there. Oh my god. Well, I would love to get that turret or uh, get the heli, but it seems nearly impossible. I have one satchel, but if I got the satchel BP and I threw two satchels, I think it's two for the turret. Now I need to secure it myself, cause uh... Oh yeah, there's definitely some people that want to get it. Bro, you're so yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey yo, <laughs> let's go. Okay, it's gonna be much easier for me to do a rig right now. No, I found that guy. to get some wood for a door. Dude. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. I got all of their loot too. Oh, they fucked up so badly. They definitely messed up. And the fact that I survived this with not a single med was insane. By watching how important my shop was to just my neighbors made me realize how many players on the server still needed BPs. So for my next raid, I decided to go hit another shop instead of an actual base. You may think that this doesn't look like much, but raiding the best shops on the map and then selling their stuff for a cheaper price than the ones they once had is pure profit. After setting up a few more shops, I decided to take MP5 BP, and because of how insane this gun now can be, I wanted to take it out for Rome. Oh my god. Okay.
This gun is actually insane with burst. AK? That's uh there's so many people and there's so much loot in that bush. I just knows. Since fights on ground clearly wasn't in my favor, I decided to make my way towards small oil rig. No counters came, but the overall loot, including the crate, was insane. When I got back to base, I took AKBP. I crafted one up in hopes of this being my way of finally winning fights on ground even if I'm outnumbered. Oh, damn. I'm cooking a lot of sulfur right now. And when it's done, I can definitely do another raid. And this time, I think I want to hit a base. I still don't know which base I would have to search for one, but I for sure wanna hit a base this time. Oh, two Arctic suits. Those guys definitely have guns. I shoot AK once. Already one guy running over. Wipe the whole squad. I'm not even gonna stash, man. I'm just gonna run. Okay, let's get another set in here. It's a crate at airfield. Hmm, it's a crate at airfield. Do I go for it? I think I'm gonna go for it, but I'm probably gonna bring MP5 as it is probably gonna be a close fight. What? Oh wait, there was actually a guy up here. my Q. Okay, I definitely just gotta get out of here now. 
Wow, that was not bad at all. A lot of extra gun from that. With how insane day 2 had been, I wanted to end it off with something very risky. And what's more risky than an online raid? I had spotted this base in deep snow, so I had quite the hopes for how loaded this base could be. <laughs> yeah, should have just said that. I think I'm just gonna try and run with this. I can't get it. I can't get it. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, guys. That's my bad. This wasn't exactly what I intended to happen. But on the bright side, I ended up making my way out with a decent amount of loot. This raid was also the closing of day 2. I'm gonna go check the shops quick, see if anything got sold. Oh wow. Oh my god. No. I couldn't wall. Ah, oh, there's one more. He is instantly dipping. I think he just saw the AK and he's like, I need to get that. And he's just running home. Nah, this guy can't be real. That guy took one AK and he just stepped. Well, I barely lost anything. I, I literally lost one AK, but I can... I have more AKs. I can craft AKs as well. Damn, he needed that badly. Yeah, they are mounted up, dude. They have a scrap heavy. They have a fucking scrap hoodie on there. Okay, there is a crate at airfield. I'm not too sure when it dropped, but I might go back and then grab myself a MP5 and then check that out. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. What the fuck? Holy fuck, dude, how many? I'm like fighting the whole server right now. Oh wow. Oh, 
my guy is trying out the burst and it is definitely working. Dude, what was that? After the recent update where they made it so much better and so much more accurate. God damn. Like this gun is actually just insane now. It's gonna depot here quick and then head straight back. Okay, that guy is dead. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh wow. Try dipping. I got so much. So I got all this from airfield. Just airfield. And there's still more stuff over in the stashes. That is just insane. Wow. Okay, turret is up and running. Oh. Hopefully that's both. Oh my god, they're so loaded and cards. Go, 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 go. Damn, those guys were loaded. Oh, shit. <laughs> Throughout the first two days of my wife, I had raided shop after shop and only attempted one raid on an actual base. The reason behind this is that as a solo, online raids are nearly impossible. But for the ones that know my playstyle, I'm a strong hater of offline raids. And even as a solo, I try to only do onlines. I was currently at that stage in my wipe where I didn't have anything left to do. I had made tons of enemies, finished up this amazing base, defended from it and had some of my craziest fights ever. So with all my remaining sulfur, I crafted up a ton of boom and went for my last but as you will see, craziest raid of my wipe. Oh my, those guys have a scrap early. And a tug boat. Look at that guy on the left. Okay, I'm definitely going for that one. Okay, one more. Oh, shit. Oh, wow.
Holy shit. Dude, it's still going down. What? It's still going down. That's a lot of gear source. That's a fucking grenade launcher. Oh, I can't even jump in here. I guess I shoot this guy first and then I turn to the second guy. Oh my god. Oh, this is so, so fucked. If I just had enough for this... can make myths at least. GC, let's go! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you're, you're this YouTuber that plays with this figure, uh, right? Oh. Uh, uh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's coma, it's coma. Listen up, listen up, okay? I'm, I'm at... Coma, yeah, yeah, nice yeah, meeting yeah. you, bro. Nice meeting you too. I, I didn't uh, expect us to meet like this, but... Look, I'm gonna leave wait, the server, coma, right? You wanna know something cringe? Yeah. You want to know something cringe? When I went to... When you killed me on roof with Heli in the uh -huh. rain, Yeah. I didn't have my headphones on. <laughs> that, that's like why I did. Bomb, look, I flew... There. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I flew... I flew to look for online base, right? Because I wanted to online raid a base. And then I flew past uh, your base. But yeah. I saw you open the garage. Uh, and you sat there with the mini. So I just crashed my own mini because I saw yours. And I went straight for it. Yeah, I, I didn't even know you crashed it. Yeah, I, I truly do not care. Like, this is content and I so I already have a video. This is my, my end of my wipe. But I wanna, I just wanna see your main loot. Like, I can drop every single thing in my inventory. I just wanna see what's in main loot. Just for content, you know? Okay, come up here, come up here. Uh, Wait, we'll come out the I'm depoing all this stuff in there. Yeah. Damn that! That was a uh, that was an interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Man, that's fucking that's crazy. Really what? Raid <laughs> hey, what do you think about the raid defense, man? It was it was it was great. <laughs> no, Bro, <laughs> you were gonna get some juice. I won't lie. I was ready? actually. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, you went deep. No, you didn't. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god, dude, I would have my bad, my bad. so much. <laughs> Seven C4s and rockets. Yeah. Okay, all good though, all good. I just, I just really couldn't. Should farm in oil. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, thank you guys for putting up such a good fight. 
Um, yeah. What an absolute banger ending to a wipe. Win or lose, I was gonna quit the server anyways. But luckily, the guys I raided were really nice and decided to let me peek their main loot room. Wipes like this one are very rare these days. And this video did in fact take me a shit ton of time to edit. So if you did enjoy it, then consider subscribing or at least liking the video. Also, let me know if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. I hope you all enjoyed and hopefully I will see you all in the next one.